Hi, this is John. This video is about making fins out of plastic. Sometimes you want fins that are invisible, at least when the rocket's out at the launch pad. And this video is about how to do that. First, let's talk about the kind of plastic. You should always be using polycarbonate, not acrylic or some of the many other kinds of plastic. Polycarbonate is shatter resistant, so it's much better than the other kinds of plastics for something like a rocketry fin that'll take some abuse on landing. It can also be worked with normal woodworking tools, especially if you use fine tooth blades. Of course, the best way to cut it is using a CNC router, as with all flat shapes. Another nice technique is with a scroll saw. Again, a scroll saw gives you lots of control, so that will be a good tool for this purpose, and you can also fit it with a fine blade. First, we make cut out a paper template and mark the surface of the plastic. Note that we're leaving the skin on both sides of the plastic, which will help protect it from scratches. And there we go. It comes out pretty nicely, even doing it by hand on a scroll saw. On the left you can see the CNC routed piece, and on the right the one cut with the scroll saw. Next we have to mark the holes for mounting. Cut a slot in the center of the holes on the template so that the pen can go through. Then place the template in place on the part and mark through the hole in the template. And the mounting holes can easily be drilled using wood bits. That's a lot easier on a drill press, but you can use a hand drill as well. Once our fins are cut out, the last step is to take care of the exposed edges. The best way to do this is to sand them with progressively finer grit sandpaper. However, it's really hard to do that by hand. We end up rounding over the fins. A disc sander is ideal. However, normal disc sanders have much too coarse a grit. So what I did was I mounted a hand sander horizontally to act as a small, fine grit disc sander. If you have really rough edges, you might need to start coarser, but I was able to start with 220 and sand the edge. By using this method, we're not going to round over the edge, and we can take our time and do many passes and get a nice, smooth result at each grit. Here's the edge after sanding with 220, 320, and 400. It's already pretty nice and smooth, and you could definitely stop here if you were satisfied. You could go further sanding by hand now because you're taking off so little material that you won't round over the edges. Here I'm sanding with 600 and I'll follow this up with 800. And if you really want to you can even keep going. Beyond sandpaper you start using a buffing wheel and jeweler's rouge. We'll do one pass here even though it's pretty hard to argue that we need this just to get that super fine smooth edge. And here's one of the fins complete with the edge all nice and smooth. You can get as good a result as you want by just sanding with finer and finer grits and even polishing if you're so inclined. Another technique you can use to get the edge even smoother is flame polishing. Use an ordinary propane torch to heat the edge until it slightly melts, forming a smooth surface. 
Use multiple quick passes to make sure not to overdo it. And here's what you get with flame polishing. The edge is actually melted and re-solidified and so it is slick and you can actually see reflections from the edge of the plastic. By the way, these fins were made for my crayon bank rocket, so be sure to check out that page for more information on how they were actually used.